Well, church, it's been a really good weekend. You know, one of the things about VBS that um, I'm reminded of every year is that it's important for us to get outside of our comfort zones, right? I grew up, um, and I can remember being a very, very, very shy child. And if you had told me at all during my life that I would be standing up in front of people wearing socks and sandals and an orange vest with a bucket hat, I would have said, there's no possible way. I'll be sitting in the back of the room being very quiet so that nobody looks at me. (laughs) But it's VBS. It's very big Sunday. I think that maybe there's some things that we can learn from VBS, from watching our kids engage in worship in maybe ways that we aren't used to, maybe ways that we haven't done since we were little kids too. One of the verses that I learned, remember learning when I was a little kid, one of the first ones that I can remember, is Psalm 23. And so that's where we will be this morning. And we all know it. If you want to break out your Bibles and read along with me, you can go ahead. It says this, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup, while my cup it overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. This psalm has brought me a lot of comfort in life, and, you know, reading it this weekend, I was trying to think, this is one of the first verses I learned as a kid. Why isn't it more exciting? It's a calm verse. The Lord leads me beside quiet waters and restores my soul. I don't know if it sounds very vbs very big Sunday or hippo song but I think that there's important truth here that our kids recognize in the way that they worship. Because our kids get up here and stand in front of you and jump around and act crazy, and they don't do it just because they're worshiping. Their worship is loud and extravagant, sometimes a little messy and crazy, and that's beautiful. And I wonder what it would look like if we worshiped like that every Sunday. If we started every Sunday with a hippo song, I don't know about that. We got a woo from Pastor Heath in the back. He's about it. Because I think when we get outside of our comfort zones, when we decide that wearing socks and sandals and a vest or getting up and standing in front of a congregation and swinging your arms around and dancing like a hippo, when we realize that all of that's worship and all of that is holy and all of that is of the God of the universe, we just let go of trying to be somebody. We heard that in a prayer last week. We let go of trying to be somebody, and we learn to just be. Maybe kind of like our kids, who in VBS can just be themselves, fully alive in Christ on a Sunday morning. VBS is vulnerable. Kids are vulnerable. Worship, in so many ways, is vulnerable. My encouragement to you this morning, church, is to to soak it up, to look to our kids, and instead of saying, hey, look, there's the future of our church, saying, hey, look, there's the church. What can we learn from our church about worship? What can we learn from our kids about being vulnerable in life? I wonder if we sang my Lord right now, and I went around and pointed what kind of answers we would get. 
we're all thankful for something. Let's try it. My Lord, he done done, my Lord. He done done, my Lord. He done done, he done done what he said he'd do. He done give us. Church family. Church family. He done done, he done give us church family. He done done, he done give us church family. He done done, he done done what he said he'd do. Church is vulnerable. Church is hard sometimes, but church is beautiful. And when we can look at our kids and see them let go of all of the stuff and just be themselves in worship, we can say to ourselves, well, maybe I can too. So that's my encouragement to you today. Be encouraged by our kids. See them worship and worship the same. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. We talked about a journey this weekend. We talked about being adventurers. We talked about Moses and how Moses went and stood next to a campfire that began talking to him. And Moses really didn't want to go be vulnerable. He really didn't want to go and lead the Israelites, but he did because he knew that God was with him. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters, and he restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Our kids were reminded this weekend that in any adventure that they go on in life, whether that's an adventure in faith, in church, an adventure in schools or with their families, an adventure with friends or with maybe those kids that you don't really get along with, that we are carried by God, and that because of that, our light shines. So let it shine boldly, church, as we continue in worship today, as we come to the table.